we grow older, we all want to age gracefully, but sometimes the way we do that, well, is feeling a lot younger. Hey, welcome to this edition of Road Warrior. I'm your host, Grant Robertson. Now behind me is the youthful approach of getting behind the wheel. More specifically, the 2016 VW Golf R. The Golf is a vehicle I remember even in my teenage years. Now they brought it back last year and bring it back again here. Now the Golf is the typical hatchback, so the fun high schoolish like vehicle. Now this is definitely not a high schoolers vehicle, especially with the power of the hood. Now what you're going to see is typical hatchback. Now they haven't re really reinvented the Golf here. Nice stylized lines. Something that's changed is really right up front. Now the entire vehicle is wrapped in body color all the way around. Black accents really set this vehicle off, specifically on the mirrors and around here. I think something that would really turn me off is if they had adorned this all in chrome, because that truly doesn't match. Looking at the four corners, first thing you'll notice is these are 18 inch wheels. Now they're wrapped in a 225 40, or you can opt for the 19 inch wheel, which is going to be a 235 35. Now, when you look at the ground clearance here, to be expected, snug in the road, just under five inches. What's really great, of course, is that's barely a step in. Now, for my six foot frame, it's kind of more of a squat and duck in. Now, what I like is again the overall dimensions. Now, we'll get into the interior volume in just a second, but when you look at the numbers, basically the interior volume here is really great. This is an added bonus, giving that added cargo typical hatchback, but this vehicle is the R. So what you're really looking at is the spunk behind the wheel. For any hatchback, it's all about the numbers, and the Golf basically fits quite well in that compact segment. The overall numbers are around about 168 inches. Wheelbase fairly stretched as it can be, around about 103. Now, what does that mean when you're behind the wheel? Well, you're going to feel a typical road harshness. A lot of potholes and bumps are going to translate to the driver. Now, as for that front track, it is going to be about an inch wider than the rear, and the typical numbers for height easily under five feet. With that R emblazoned at the back, there's one area you want to look, and that's right here with all the horsepower that's waiting. Now specifically, you're looking at a 2.0 liter inline four cylinder with a turbocharger. Now that's going to deliver around about 292 horses and 280 foot pounds of torque. Now this engine can be coupled with either the as tested six speed automatic or a more spirited six speed manual. Now one thing to note, this vehicle does have the four motion permanent all wheel drive system. Definitely give you that grip at the four corners. With any vehicle, you definitely want to have ease and comfort, and that definitely is behind the wheel, but it all starts here at the door. Now, typical operation is the smart key systems, the proximity entry, and of course, the Golf has that. Now, what does that mean? It's pretty much walk up to this door here, pull on the handle, and it unlocks with ease. Now, the better part is, is there is a one touch to lock it back. Now, all this translates into added security. Now, one thing I do like is when the vehicle is locked, one area of added security is the gas fill up area. Now, once the vehicle's unlocked, you can simply walk up, press here, and it opens right up. One thing you'll notice, definitely not new school, but still old school with the cap system. Now, besides the engine being the funnest part of this vehicle, one area that I like is the business end on any hatchback because it truly delivers some added space. Now, what I like back here is the huge bank of glass, really giving you a great view out that rear window. Of course, you got a back uh, spoiler for added sport and really kind of got this S curve going on when you look at the profile. Now, as you sweep down, what you're going to find is really there's no backup sensors here. Really, the only safety typical for a vehicle this size is a backup camera, really giving you a nice view view. Now one thing to note about hatchbacks, as you can tell, it collects all the dirt as you're going down the road, so it may need a little extra cleaning as this is really a dirt collector. Now here at the back end, when you're looking for the access for the rear hatch, you're not going to find a typical handle. If you're familiar with Volkswagens, they like to be a little bit more sneaky and you're going to find the handle well right here. Simply press once, it's going to open right up. And as that opens, what you're going to see is nice acreage, specifically behind the second row, around about 22 cubic feet. Now as you lay the seats flat, that's going to be almost more than double, giving you great acreage when you need to haul cargo. Diving into the cargo area just a little bit more, one thing to talk about is really what lies underneath the floor. And what you're going to notice here is a wide acreage, really nice surface. We put a lot of gear in here for a weekend trip. Now what's under here? Well, specifically nothing. And what it looks like is there is a place for a spare. This vehicle doesn't have one and obviously there's no room underneath the vehicle. So this is typically where you would find that. Now what I do find is that you can add some more stuff back here. It's fairly minimum, about four or five inches deep. 
Now, what you're also going to find is nice security in the form of this rear tonneau cover. Now, it's nice and solid, which means when you store it away, you're going to have to either take it out or shove it somewhere else. Now, it opens obviously with the rear hatch and closes, and it provides really an added security because if thief can't see it, well, they're not going to steal it. Volkswagen has developed numerous new exterior elements for the flagship Golf R. They include bumpers, side skirts, rear diffuser, dual chrome exhaust tips per side, by xenon headlights and of course the standard 18 inch aluminum wheels where i talked about now the golf r is distinguished at the front with a new bumper design with larger air inlets modified radiator grille that sports the r logo and newly developed daytime running lights the led daytime running lights form a distinctive dual u design beneath the headlight Climbing inside the Golf is really the biggest reward because you take that sport on the outside and, well, feel it right here. Now, it all starts really with the overall accents, really dark and kind of sporty feeling. And I like the kind of monochromatic look. Nothing really stands out and nothing really too overwhelming. Now, what you're really going to like is the overall legroom. Now, up front, it's going to be typically over 40 inches, plenty of room for even my six foot frame. Now, for the second row, not too anemic but around about 35 inches. Now for anyone that's a little bit shorter, we can start to creep this front row up, giving just a little bit more comfort to the back. For any vehicle that has this much sport, one place you wanna start is in the seat design. And as you can tell, there's a lot of side bolstering to hold you in place because once you see that R insignia on the leather, you're definitely gonna hold on tight. Now, one thing to note, the front seats are powered. The driver's seat giving a little bit more power functions versus the manual operated passenger. Now, what you'll find is the buttons on the side power the uh, seat back up and down. There is a manual lift to raise this up and down and also a manual lever to move it forward. To control everything, there has to be a huge screen, not on the gauges, but right here front and center. Now this is fairly easy to use and is the latest addition for Volkswagen, give you a lot more options. Now this is the somewhat simpler screen. If you want to, you can opt for one that has navigation. Pretty much all the operation being here on the side and it is really touch sensitive, allowing you to kind of access everything with ease. Now I like the fact that this can Bluetooth with pretty much any device, the Android or even the Apple. Some vehicles are only going with one or the other. This one really managing everything. For climate control, it couldn't get much simpler or sleeker looking. Now, one thing to note, there is dual climate controls up front, the digital readout giving you your specific temperature setting. Now, for uh, seat controls, there is heated seats here on the edges and the various modes through here. Now, I like the fact that there is symmetry across the controls, your temperatures on both sides and the nice oversized fan speed right in the middle, pretty much making this nice and sleek and even better, easy to use. One of the driver dynamics starts right here, the gear shifter. Now again, this is the automatic version, but you do have a manual-like mode, simply toggle it over and shift on the fly. Now, if you wanna add even some more added effects, go to the driving mode here. Now, what that's gonna do is give you three different versions, the normal, the race mode, or even individualized attention. Now, as you slide down between the front seats, what you're gonna notice is a nice hitting area here. Now, this is gonna, again, make the vehicle feel sleek. That's because you're hiding your dual cup holders underneath here. Sometimes you don't need that. You may prefer to maybe put your phone right here, and that is a great place, even for the iPhone 6 Plus. Now, of course, you got some other operations and your power supply, maybe a little uh, coin holder here. Now, for the center console, one thing you're gonna notice is it's not operational. This is no storage whatsoever. Instead, it's really a sliding area to add different effects for your elbow support. Some people like it further back, some like it a little bit closer. For the gauge cluster, it's gonna be standard analog, tack, and speedometer with a little bit of information in the middle. Now, there is no digital readout for the speed, but I found that that wasn't necessary because I really liked the illumination when it came to the gauges. For cruise control, you're gonna find all the operation over here as well as the volume select. Now, this got a little bit confusing because I found myself constantly using this plus and minus for the volume and using this actually for my speed. So a little redesign here wouldn't hurt. Now on the other side is some other operations for the information on your gauges. That's gonna be in the middle and of course selecting various functions when it comes to media. Of course, you've got your Bluetooth and phone shortcuts as well. Looking at the second row, what you're gonna notice is some individualized attention once again. Really the outside occupants giving a little bit of sport feel, a little bit of bolstering. The middle, not too bad. Right raises out just a hair from the other occupants, but pretty much gonna fit three people back here with ease. Now again, you can lay these seats flat. It's a split design, really allowing you to leave people in one place and cargo in the other. Now what I always like 
is nice elbow support and this one is nice and elevated really giving some great comfort back here even better dual cup holders and that does it for this edition of Roy Warrior in our test drive behind the wheel, the 2016 Volkswagen Golf R. Now, if you're not familiar with that insignia, pretty much it's delivering that four banger with all of that horsepower and, of course, that four motion at the corners, giving you that all-wheel drive pretty much all the time. Now, what we liked here is, of course, the spunk behind the wheel, but it also delivered that interior volume you expect in a hatchback coupling that with that cargo. So even though this is a sporty model, maybe making me feel a little bit more youthful, it still has some practical means. Now, as always, I'd like thank you for watching this edition of Road Warrior. Keep both hands on the wheel and eyes straight ahead.